It's a wonderful episode for you this week. I have a wonderful show, man. I actually took my time and and um man, it's a lot going on this week. It's a lot going on this week, man. And um I have a very special guest with me. All my guests are special. But this is my brother right here. And um Man, this man is doing great things in the community. This man created his own product. Uh the product's actually doing good. It's something I've never seen before. That's why I thought it would be a great idea to bring him on to the show. This week, we're going to cater to the cannabis community. I've been doing shows, you know, uh, based off of all types of products, ideas, and businesses, but I want to bring my man on to talk about his new product. As, as everybody knows, the cannabis community has been doing amazing numbers within the last 10 years in the city. And um, it's good to see one of our own actually create a product that the people is responding to. And I thought it would be a great idea to bring P onto the show. We're going to give him the opportunity to introduce himself and um, tell, tell, a little bit, tell us a little bit about his product and um, what's included in his product and where you can find it at. P, what up? Man, what's going on? What up? What's going on, man? <laughs> Thank hey, you for coming, my brother. Man, I appreciate it. Man, introduce yourself to the people, man. Tell the people what's going on and what we're doing. I appreciate you. Uh, you know, I'm I'm basically the I'm basically the the the, the idea behind uh, adult happy meals, and you know I go by P. You know, everybody calls me P. My real name is Christopher, though. You know, for people that didn't know that. Uh, but at the end of the day. You know, adult Happy Meals, I just wanted to make a, a quality brand that would encompass like all of the, the, the best businesses and the and the the, the best um, you know medical suppliers or products in the state of Michigan, you know, starting off in Detroit, for everybody to come get it in one spot. It's crazy you say that bro, because ever since um the cannabis community that I popped off legally uh the other people right they done jumped off head first they the ones who got the products they the ones who put it on the shelf so to actually see one of our own put something together for us i i thought that meant a lot man that's one of the reasons why you know what I'm saying? i thought it was a good idea to bring you on you know what I'm saying? So you say adult happy meal. Yeah. What yeah, made you yeah. what, what made you even want to call it the adult happy meal? So look, honestly, cause everybody thinks everybody thinks that adult happy meals came from uh um McDonald's. You know, everybody thinks adult happy meals came from the McDonald's, but it actually didn't come from McDonald's though. I mean it did, obviously Happy Meals, you know, the name, but yeah, I was actually watching uh Half Baked. And Half Baked is one of my, uh, you know, one of my favorite movies yeah, with, 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 uh, with um, uh, Dave Chappelle. Third Good Jenkins. Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> you know, when, when uh, I ain't gonna lie, when they came up with that little idea, like, we just gonna give our weed away and we just gonna uh, put a smiley face on it. I was like, yeah, I need to, I need to start giving away samples. You know, I need to, I need to start selling my stuff different because at the time, like you said, the cannabis industry, you know, they was coming in Michigan, they was destroying everybody. Every it was a big competition. You know, all the prices was lower or the weed was garbage and you had to sell something different, a different type of way. So I'm like, okay, bet well how can I get everybody, you know, to wanna buy from me? And I was like, okay, well I just gotta sh I just gotta show everybody love. I could I could promote everybody. And I could put everybody in the box. So, so, so you didn't even think about yourself. You, you was thinking, I can create my own brand and and include everybody. Yeah, I can't. If this adult happy meals. It's not something that's supposed to be by itself. It's supposed to be something that's all inclusive to the 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 people who really take their brand and they they service seriously. Okay. So if you really serious about making the best Kool Aid, okay. man, I need you in a box. If you okay. serious about making the best lemonade, the best gummies, cookies, brownies. You know, uh, uh, cheesecakes, cakes, uh, banana puddings, whatever Medicaid did you make, man, I gotta put you in a box, and I gotta let people know that in order to get to you, or into, in order to get to anything great in the city of Detroit or in a, in the Great Lake State, they gotta go look see what's in the box. Hey, that, hey, hey, that's hard right there. I'm gonna tell you why that's hard, bro. Because like, all right, so for the record, <clears throat> I don't smoke weed no more. 
Right. I know. I was trying to bring you some. I was like, I'm gonna take I, one of my lady. I'm gonna take one of my lady because she, because she, she, she love the animals, man, and she smoke a little weed, man. But uh, but man, I I remember, I remember, bro, when I did smoke, I never really fucked with the edibles like that because, man, I, I smoked so heavy that the edibles wouldn't do shit for me. You know what I'm saying? So like, when somebody would try to give me some Kool Aid or a uh, uh, a edible or something like that or like when I was smoking bro they would only have cookies brownies yeah. and uh oh they had the suckers remember the suckers the suckers yeah. they would have like the rice crispy treats but the yeah. game done fucked me up bro because because they done advanced bro like when I, when I, when I seen what you was doing bro I done seen ramen noodles yeah I done seen yeah. Kool Aid. I done seen Doritos. Yeah. Like dog, like like the edible. Like how people was even making these products out of cannabis infused products. Look, I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to uh, shout out to Mo's Munch Trays. You know, I gotta shout him out one time because he the one that uh, brought the noodles to me. And when he brought the noodles to me, I said that gotta be in the box. Mm. You know, nobody nobody got this. We got to put that in the box. Uh, really, I'm just a, I'm a connoisseur of weed. Anyway, I like different flowers, different flavors. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it gives your body different feelings. So when I go to different people and I see what they have, I'm like, okay, bet. Yeah, this the one. Or it might not be the one. I might be like, all right. Yeah, I don't, I don't really want to put this in the box right now. But, you know, we'll keep it in mind. What even inspired you? Like, what even inspired you to, like, like where was you at? What time of day was it? What was you blowing on when you say, you know what, dog? Was you watching the McDonald's commercial? <laughs> no, I really don't. I, was, I ain't gonna lie to you. This really what it was. I was sitting down, and I'm gonna show you the, I'm gonna show you this box real quick. Just so I can show you the logo. Just so I can show you the logo. Okay. I don't know if you can see it. Um, I can see it. I okay. Talking. Yeah, just so I can show you the logo. So, basically... Uh, what it was was, I was thinking about who was making the most money in the world. Okay, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, okay. dang, who make the most money in the world? And the people that make the most money in the world are the people that keep you entertained. Okay, uh, the people that keep you fed, mm -hmm. and the people that keep you high. Those are three people that make the most money in the world. So, so what I did was, I say the number one entertainment, the number one uh. You know, techn technological entertainment in the world is the Apple cell phone or the Apple brand. Or so I took a little bite mark out the weed plant for Apple. Then you got marijuana, obviously. You know that's a billion served. Then you got McDonald's, that's a billion served. So I figured with three billion dollar corporations, you get a trillion dollar corporation because that's three. So if we can make a trillion dollars, we gonna mess around and. Change the world, man. Dog, I swear to God, bro. Nobody hustles like a Detroit nigga, bro. Nobody hustles like a cat from Detroit, bro. <laughs> I swear to God, dog. That's hard, man. Are you, are you are you even worried about um? Have you ever thought about um? Them even coming for you, bro? Like no, I can't. I can't even think about that because uh, at the end of the day, this is a world. We all we all in this world. Say that together. So. I know, I know for a fact that majority of these billion dollar businesses that we go to and eat at every day, I know for a fact that they'd have probably stole their recipes from, from somebody. somebody. Right. They took their right. name from right. somebody. They done did something. And in all actuality, I ain't taking nothing from, uh, you know, them people. I'm adding to their brand. I'm, I'm letting people, because if you want to be real, their stuff is not even good for you. It's trash. It's garbage. Man, what kind of numbers is the, is the cannabis community even doing these days, bro? We kind of been around. You no, know, Now I know they're doing recreational and they're doing medical, right? Man. So, like, what kind of numbers is they doing? And I'm, I'm asking you that to, 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 to get the answer. Um, is it even worth diving into these days like if i if i woke up tomorrow and i say you know what man i want to sell some cannabis infused products or i want to sell weed or give me a license to sell weed i got a plug on some good weed man you know what i'm saying like i can sell legally i'm gonna I'm be real with you i don't want to deter nobody but now is the best time to get into it you said now yes why you say that elaborate 
because everything's becoming recreational. It's, it's switching over from medical to where you don't even need a car to where uh, it's open for you to have two ounces on you, on your person, without a card, just with your ID, just being over 18. You know, or t was it at 21, 18? It's 18. I think, it's, I think it was 18. But, no, at the end of the day, you got to think about it like this. It's not just about Michigan. Michigan became, you know, open and free with the weed, but a lot of other states are about to begin. So if you could tap into those states when they start, and you could, you could, you could get those people who are already there and say, hey, look, I got this product that's already booming. We got this idea that's already selling you could be a part of this they gonna take it and it's gonna it's gonna instantly grow wherever wherever you wherever uh, location you put it at that's why right now is really the best time because you could use michigan or whatever your recreational state is as your launch pad and then you can start your fan base start your you know your movement and then really take your show on the road wherever it's about to mm. start off new Mm. Just like how, just like how they they came here when Michigan started off, these dispensaries and stuff is coming from Cali and, and, and Canada and and all over the world to set up shop here. Mm -hmm. We can do the same thing. Let me ask you this, P. Um, what do you think about what do you think about the amount of weed that's even out here, bro? Because it's saying like it's saying like never. Never, never, it's never seen before, bro. Like, it's so much weed out here, bro. Like, 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 it's every, scary. every, every, it's so scary. Every dispensary got a ton of strings. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was riding through the east side today to go pick my daughter up from school, and we all knew that the east side had dispensaries, like, right, I know they gotta right, be like right, 100 right, feet right, away from right, each other right. or something like that. But on every 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 corner, every other corner, it's a it's a dispensary, right? And when I used to go to the dispensary to get my weed, um, man, these things had like a ton of fucking weed, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I and I asked you that, bro, because how does that? We got a street market. Let's be right. 100. We got right. a street market, and then we got the dispensary market. So how does that affect the kind of sewer? You know what I'm saying? When it comes to it, it, okay, it wait, 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 wait. We got the we got the street market, the dispensary market, and a Cali market. Now we know the Cali market blow the, everybody out the water. The Cali market is supplying both markets, mm. the street and the dispensary, mm. right? And then you got the people in the dispensary who they want to grow their own bud and they want to have their own strands and whatever. But they everybody wants Cali weed for sure. You know. Hey, we know that everybody wants still to this day. Yeah, it's still people out there flying and bringing it the strongest of the strong back, you know. And we got that in the box, just mm -hmm. just so you know that. But uh, I ain't gonna lie. I think that it, it didn't. It it messed up the street a little bit, but to the point where it made the guys, you know, that's not in the dispensaries that's in the street, they had to sharpen up. They had to open up earlier. They had to stay out later. They had to be a little bit more aggressive with they uh they sales. They had to put, you know, had to open up more spots. They had to, they had to lower their prices. You know what I'm saying? They had to go to the dispensaries and offer them uh to sell their weed there because everybody on the street was going to the dispensary now. What did Abe go for on the street right now? A good one. A good one. Fifty. Fifty 60. bucks. Uh, some real, some real, some real good weed, still 50, 60. Some decent weed, 20, 30. It's crazy. You said that. I remember, I remember during the pandemic, and them, them, them Cali Ace was going for 80 and 100. 75, 75 to 100. 75, 80, 100. 75 to 100. Is that still out there right now? Yeah, but people not paying it though. And it's, okay. not, it's not even like how it was. The pandemic over with. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you, got, yeah. you got some people still paying it, but they. Even the people that's paying it, they ain't coming like they used to come. If I went to Cali and I got some shit that that just wasn't from here, I'm talking Canatique, Jelly Cannabis Co. or uh, it's gotta be something different. It gotta yeah, be, yeah, 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 like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like Turtle Pie or like some stuff like like Pluto Bowl. They got they got some like some different some shit saying. that you just cannot get here. And if it's and if it's strong. And if it and if it's hidden, and if it tastes good, 
It's all on you to market it. Cause you could let somebody else tell you it's trash and they get it for the low all day. Or you could or you could know what it is and know where you got it from. Look, rest in peace to Yacht Dog, man. I remember my man Yacht. Yacht, um, he hooked up one of his dogs, man, when that Girl Scout cookie first came around. When the original Girl Scout cookie, I'm talking about not not a platinum cookie, not a uh, a GMO cookie or a, no. none of that, none of that, none of that extra about. shit. I'm talking about that that original Girl Scout cookie, yeah, that yeah, that yeah, Bay fuck. Area. Nah, well, nah. What year was this? Man, this shit had to be ten years ago. I was about to say this was a. Uh, I was gonna say fourteen. Yeah, was that shit was a hundred and eighth. I, 68 for sure. It was 68 for sure. Cause I, I was paying 68 for that for that that funk that gas that real cookie. Yes. Mm, mm, I love mm. cookie. Cookie. Aaron, Aaron, that's my favorite weed. Is it still out here? Still to the day. It is. And, and it's on the east side. Okay. Now you gotta right. go to the east side to you get it. Go to the east side, but they don't even call it cookie though. Okay. I don't even know, but I I went over there. I'm like, damn, this is real cookie. It's good. Cookie. Say for real, huh? Yeah. Yeah, man, I might go back to smoking weed. But them young, them young cookie, boys yeah. don't know what cookie is, though. Say like for real, they don't know what they smoking now. Man, a uh, crib. What is it though? Like, like they like, just call it crib. They don't even. It's they just don't got, even it care about the strain. Of, it got to be some type of exotic flavor, and it, and it got to be. See a real be. weed or a, a real cannabis kind of sore. A real cannabis kind of sore knows what strain it is. If it's an indica or sativa. What was it crossed with, right? And who grew it? Do these boys even care about that type of shit these days? No. I mean, you know, you, you don't have time for that, really. You don't got time for that, but it's always great to have the information because what I'm noticing now is a lot of people want to be more informed about what they put in their body, you know, because a lot of people overdosing off of, off of, you know, various things, so... It's good to know your milligrams and to know, you know, your levels that's that's in your bars and gummies and, you know, but as far as you knowing the, the amount of TAC and your strands of weed, I ain't gonna know that. I wanna ask you, P, um, since you done since you done created this product, so first of all, I want you to um I want you to answer how long has the the, the adult happy meal box been around? One, and then two um, what's the challenges the challenges that you face even getting off the ground because I can only imagine what you went through to actually get a box Man. Make it like the happy meal box put your logo on there with so, with the um I even see you got the QR code on there So look, I want to show you this real quick It wasn't it wasn't easy because I really did I had to search I searched for like two months to try to find somebody to make the box quality just the first this is the first rendition of the box. You see it just got a smiley face on each side. And it's just a red box. And all I did really was, I took the smiley faces, I took a sticker, I had them make me a sticker, and I put my sticker and fitted it perfectly on there. And that's how I made my first Happy Meal box. Then, I was like, hey, I gotta upgrade my box. So I started them printing it on the box. Right, 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 and okay. And after I had them printed on the box, I still have my smiley face on the box, but I wanted to keep it on there because I want to make people happy. I want people to, to feel good, you know, and, and bring back that, that childlike, you know, nostalgia, you know, of like, of, damn, this is about to be good. You know, I just want them to know that. So you talk about that feeling that we had as a kid. Yeah, when, when, that, when, when, remember when you, the, you ain't need to get high. You was already high when somebody called you. You was about to run outside. You like, it was that high that you got that was natural. That's what I want to bring back, you know? And then, so, boom, this is that, you know, we upgraded that. And then I upgraded the box again. And we put the QR code on there. And then I got a, uh, I got a strip. You see that strip right there? You can peel this strip off. You can peel it off and it gets sticky. And you can fold your box down and stick it together. So wait a minute. So like the basis of this interview is really talking about uh, not only your business, um, but which which goes into my which which uh, segues into my next question about black owned business and how you just showed me three different boxes. Man. You showed me your you showed me your first box, yeah. your second box, and your third box. How each adult Happy Meal box you got better. The first Happy Meal boxes had the smiley face on it. You said no, nah, dog. You know what I'm saying? And you put a sticker on it. Yeah. 
You say, no, nah, dog, I got I to gotta print my boxes with my with my logo on the box, right. right? And then you start doing that. And then you start doing something else. So what you're showing people is, is when you're running your own business, bro, you can't get satisfied with just no. the very first beginning product you that you have. You upgrade your brand. Man, that's hard. Because I'm about to come out with the, the next I'm coming out. Well, first off, I ain't going to lie to you. And I, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say this for real. I don't like to say black owned business because first off for one, you know, I believe I'm Aboriginal and Indigenous, you know, uh, to the land, you know, what they would call the Indian. Mm -hmm. All right. But black is putting us in a box. I want I want Chinese people to, to openly, you know, hear about adult happy meals and, and love the brand because they love but they got McDonald's in China. I want, you know, Europeans, Indians with the red dot, the, you know, everybody, everybody, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to put us in the box because, I, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to preach unity and love. I'm trying to spread happiness. You know, that's what I'm trying to do. And I, and I ain't trying to have no division between, between no people, you know, in no type of way, because this is all about unity. This is all about you know, us building this world back the way it need to be and, and doing what God need us to do, right? In order to make it there. So that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to do what God want me to do. It made me think, bro, like when we were just talking about um how we want people to be happy when they when they um get this product, bro. Like it made me think about when mom pulled when we was a kid, bro, when mom pulled into McDonalds, you know what I'm saying? We ain't no, we, we ain't even know she was going to McDonalds right now. She pulled in the McDonald's and, and then and then she speak. We in the back seat, right? And they like they like. How can I help you? you? She like smiling. It's a real look, smile. This look, is real joy. Look, she like, like she like she like. Let me get a cheeseburger happy meal. What? Boy, your whole life done changed for the rest what? of the day, dog. You done got a toy coming. No, you like niggas up. Look, you know what I'm saying? I swear to God, I could call my mama right now. I could call my mama right now. She'll tell you a story. When I was a little boy, I was I was uh, I was probably was like two, or three maybe. I'm like I want a happy meal. I'm I'm telling her I want a happy meal. I want a happy meal. She like she like no. I'm gonna go home and make you a mommy burger. Yeah. I'm like no. I'm like huh, you I tripping? Want like, that. I don't want yeah, no mommy yeah, burger. Yeah, I want yeah, a happy yeah. meal. I'm tripping yeah. all the way. She said she was gonna whip me, but she didn't. So she got me in the house. She made me my mommy burger. You know. And she said from that day forward. I didn't ask for Happy Meals no more. I asked for Mommy Burgers. She was like, yeah, you asked for Mommy Burgers all day. I was like, you remember that? I'm like, yeah. She was like, yeah. You know, I had to, I had to make it for you because we couldn't afford a Happy Meal. You get what I'm saying? Like, little stuff like that. When you think about it, when you sit back and you think about it, you be like, damn. You know, these these little these little Happy Meals used to be two, three dollars. You know what I'm saying? Four, five you see that little red you know box, man? Come through the... Uh, that meant the world, too. Man, dog, what? You didn't care about it. They could have taken it... They, as a kid, they could have told you, you could take $10,000 or this Happy Meal. Which one you want? You took the Happy Meal. Hey, let's talk meal. about marketing, bro. I want to throw that in there real quick, bro, because not only did they sell us a cheeseburger and fries and a drink, they gave us a toy. That's what that's what made you want that to was a toy. It's like it's like it's like, it's like I gave you I gave nah. you it's like it's like wait a minute wait a minute P. Yeah. I gave you a box. Yeah. You didn't get the bag like Mama got. Mommy got the bag. Yeah. She but, got but the bag. She got the bag. She's just. Uh, I'm giving you. I'm giving the kid the, the box. box with the toys. So you know in the in the adult happy meal you get a grinder, you get a lighter, you get a a, a wrap. You know. For your for your flower, you know those are your toys, and then you get a um a pipe or you know some type of other smoking device. I throw that in, like little vapes and stuff like that. You know those are your toys. You know that come in each individual box. The goal is really I'm not lying to y'all. I swear to God on my life, the goal is really to become a multi-millionaire and to make millions of millionaires just by putting their brands in the box. So you not, not not only are you putting yourself on, you put other people on too. Yeah. Cuz once they once they buy the box, I got to fill the box. So once 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 we get a thousand subscribers, you know, then we push for 5,000, 10,000. If we got 10,000 subscribers, 
and we got to push out 10,000 boxes in a month, that 10,000 boxes is going to generate over thirty three hundred to $400,000 in a month. That money is going to be used to promote putting in more spots, more businesses, more states. That means more people with more ideas with, you know what I'm saying? More money, that's it. That's, it ain't never gonna stop. And then we gonna keep upgrading the boxes. We gonna change it, we gonna have an all black box for uh for for New Year's. We gonna have a, the, the, the 3M box, the holographic box uh, for the for the stunt, for the shroom heads and the psilocybin world. You know, we gonna get the 3M. It's, 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 we not stopping. People, and this, this should show you that. Shout out to the weed bar, too. The weed, shout out to the weed bar. Shout out to the weed bar, too. We gotta give a good shout out to the weed bar because I ain't gonna lie. This day, you know, he, he, this right here inspired me to keep going and, and to keep pushing. Like, you know, just don't stop with your brand, believe in yourself, and make sure that you always got the best of the best. This the best. Mm. Chocolate bar and plant. So man, like, like, bro, I swear to God, bro, like, I don't watch the cannabis community go from, from, from people who who just smoke weed, who get their weed off the streets, to going to the dispensaries to get their weed, and the weed not being that good, to people having to go back to the streets, man, bro. I get that all the time. To people like you, we in between. Okay. See, I'm gonna tell you, people like me, like when you got. A businesses that really want to cater to the to the best of the best for the people, man, it's it's always in between. We gonna make sure that we got the best from the from the you know the medical side, but we gonna get the best stuff that you gonna find in the street. Let me throw anyway. my station idea out there real quick, cause man, this conversation no good, bro. I, I I gotta do this real quick. You are watching. Listen, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in, man. This is a wonderful conversation, bro. Man, I'm so thankful to have my brother here with me. You are watching Put You On Podcast live, streaming on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter, and other top social media platforms. Please like, follow, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching WJZZ, Cool TV, the coolest station in the world. You're tuning in with your host with the most shine, Don. Yeah, I got my man P here with me. We got the we got the dope Happy Meal box in the building. You got to get you one. Before we get out of here, I'm gonna have my man give us um, his information where you can find him. Um, I'm not easily impressed. I'm not easily impressed. But man, this, I love great ideas. I love people who, and, and this is why I started Put You On Podcast because I don't wanna do rappers. I don't wanna do entertainers. I don't, well, I like entertainers. I'm not gonna say what I don't wanna do, but I, I, like, I like to interview people who is um is in the community and working from the ground up, who has created a great product for themselves and for the people, and they out there pushing that shit, right? And they haven't got the notoriety and the um and the public uh, uh, response the way they want, but it's it's there, it's up, you know what I'm saying? And if you come to put you on podcast, I'm going to give you that. And this is just one of those products, man. Um, I really feel like I really feel like he got a great product, and he doing something with it. You know what I'm saying? I got these for you. What I you got, got these from socks, man. Man, what's up, you see, dog? I got the, you see, I got the wrapping on the socks. Hey, dog. If a nigga don't love nothing else, nigga, he loves some good socks, dog. You know what I'm saying? Check this out, dog. No more dirty socks, bro. What's up? You know what I'm saying? Got yeah. You, got yeah. you a t-shirt. <laughs> got to get you a. I'm gonna, take a happy I'm, I'm gonna take a picture with this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, remember that logo? Yeah. So man, what's next, man? What's know. next for uh what's next for the Doe Happy Meal? Honestly, uh what's, what's next? next from you? Cuz I know this ain't it. Yeah, no, this ain't it. A Doe Happy Meal is just going to honestly, you know, I'm doing this. I'm about to it's gonna be it's gonna be a time where we take uh, the smiley face off, we take adult happy meals off, and it's just gonna be the weed plant, and it's gonna be the swirl in the background, and you'll know that that's adult happy meals. And I'm gonna have my daughters, or you know what I'm saying? They're gonna run that business, and they're gonna be able to uh, link with Far different kids. people. Yep, and she and, and, and then both my girls will be able to do their thing with that. As far as me, man, I got 
I got ideas. I got. I'm writing songs. We doing movies. Shout out to uh, Ty Sharif. Shout out to uh, Retro. You know what I'm saying? Definitely Retro Films because he he going crazy with the camera right now. Um, Ty, he a writer. Um, we writing movies, scripts for adult Happy Meals and, and and other movies that we got coming out. A movie that uh, definitely is about to hit the streets called Not Another Tubi Movie. Mm. And that's about to go crazy. We really writing that and doing Look, that Look, right you now. mentioned that, bro. I had an interview today. Well, not even an interview. I had a meeting with a very important person. I'm not going to put his name out there because I don't, I don't know if he's okay with me putting his name out there, bro. But he's heavy in the movie game, bro. He said Tubi cutting them checks. Yeah. Yeah. He said Tubi cutting them checks, coming bro. coming to Detroit. Did you tell you that? He ain't say that, but he said he said the reason why he said he said I quote people was laughing at them Tubi movies right now. Mm -hmm. He said people laughing and making little little snarky ass little jokes about the quality of the Tubi movies, but he said nigga Tubi is cutting them checks, yeah. bro, and giving them budgets. Yeah, and it's a lot of people. It's a lot of people that don't understand that. Um, we just got to get with the times. And the times is, it's time for us to start really taking control and, and taking order and taking uh, accountability for what we see, uh, what we what we let our children see, what we listen to, mm -hmm. what we put out, you know, and what we, and how we want to portray ourselves. Cause it was, a t it, it, like I'm saying, it was a time where you could look on TV and you could watch the Cosby's, people was going to college and everything like that. You know, now every time I see something, it's, it's just, a mockery or clowns. I don't know. I want to ask you, bro. Um, where do you think the cannabis community is going now? Like, like we've been around for a while now. You know, we got we got tons of dispensaries in the city. Um, I seen a quote. Somebody said the cannabis community hasn't made a million a billion dollars yet. Yeah, they have. But it's on the way. Yeah, hey, that's crazy. They made billions of dollars here. Yeah. That doesn't even make sense. You say quit playing. Yeah, that that it can't. That doesn't make it, it. Man, come on. I don't even more than come on a billion dollars. I know people personally that became millionaires off of weed. Yes, and it, illegally, just had they they just had they uh they 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 shop set up, just. 10 years ago when they first was allowing people to to open up dispensaries and have dispensaries here you know it wasn't recreational but they were treating it like it was recreational and they were making millions upon millions of dollars in months let me tell you what fucked me up he i'm talking about uh, i'm talking about like a group of like people like and you talking about a whole city come on man listen bro I remember, I remember 10 years ago, I used to go on 8 Mile to a store that's a gym shoe store now. And you know what I'm talking about, if you think about it. Between, um, between Southfield and Evergreen, next to the strip club. I ain't gonna throw no names oh, out there, yeah. but you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> right? 250. Listen, bro. <laughs> Dog made so much money. Mm-hmm. Damn near, damn near. Down there, 10, 10, 10 to 15 people in that motherfucker went to jail, bro. Before it was recreational, this dude went and got a building, started selling weed out of there. One of his people just got out of prison about four or five months ago. Mm. Right? They made so much money in there. Now, let me say something real quick. Because this is this is one thing I really got to say this. And this is I don't think people understand the severity of this. Cause we grow, we grew up in those times. We was not free like it is right now. Like in Detroit, it was it was a little bit looser. You know, if you if you lived in the city or 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 close to or around it, you probably didn't understand how severe it was. But it still was severe then, cause you could go to jail for having too much weed. You know, you could go to jail for people saying that you was selling weed. Like it was it was crazy. It was, it was like, come on, man. It was, it was really like, it was like, I don't even know how it changed like this. Like, I don't know. My man Ken on the east side. Uh, and are they letting everybody? Are they letting everybody out of jail? They need to let everybody out of jail that got Look, caught with pounds and all that stuff. I used to, I used to go to the east side to get my weed at ADA East, right? 
And the owner was so motherfucking cool, bro. But this dude had weed that was so good, dog. And they grew their own shit. And he made, dog. He had it to where not only could you go get your bud, but man, you can come in there and see a doctor and get your oh, yeah, license. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, they had that everywhere. Everywhere. But 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 but, 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 but dog was doing this. Dog, dog was doing this when it first got started. When yeah. it, when 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 dog when like people 13, were, 2013. when people start hiring doctors mm -hmm. to come into their establishment, to come into their establishment so they for one people. or two days a week. Yep. You sit down, you talk to a doctor, you pay an extra two hundred dollars. Yep. Get your weed license. Get your car so you can have your get weed Get your on. car. And now they can't say nothing to you. Wait a minute. After, after the after the doctor say, mm, okay, you good. Yep. Ooh, write, write you, you up. up. <laughs> right. You leave out the office. They bring somebody else in. Mm hmm And since you got your paperwork, you can go buy you can go buy you some shit, bro. Yeah. Then you get your paperwork, you show your paperwork, now you going to now you free to shop. You hitting up all the dispensaries. You want to taste this. You want to taste that. And this is how they get you. Because they got the little bullshit under the light. And then you looking at the bullshit under the light. And you like, ooh, look at look at the crystals. You buy the bullshit. You smoke it. You not happy. You go to somewhere else. And then that's how to the, 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 come, come get weed from Adult Happy Meals. We going to make sure that. that you avoid the bullshit. Say that. If you, wanna, if you really want to avoid the bullshit. Come straight to the Happy Meals. Shout out to Lil Stupid too. And shout out to Shout out to my nigga Nick. You feel me? That's my brother yeah. right there, dog. Shout I love that nigga, Nick, bro. Man, he, that's a that's a that's a real nigga. That's family right there, man. He he about, he he gonna make sure we keep the best uh uh, uh the best in the box. Three one three nine, gonna make sure we keep the best of the best in the box. It's a few people in that in the city. A one selections. He gonna make sure we keep the best of the best in the box. I've been knowing Nick. I've been, you know, I I, I had interviewed um, me and my co-host Val. We interviewed Nick. Um, we interviewed Nick and his son on a, on on a little stupid side, and then we had Nick. You know, Nick was tied in with the Lords too. Mm -hmm. So we had Nick on um, on the interview with the Lords. Man, Nick gave me the jacket. You know what I'm saying? That's my man, bro. And um, I can't I, I I can't say no more about that dude, man. That dude is. Man, anybody that's That's gone, my nigga, man. Like I'm saying, everybody talk about they got Cali weed, you know. But it's it's a few people that you know got actually, that shit. actually going to the bay you and know getting saying? that shit. They 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 chilling with them people and they got the connections. It. Yeah, they got the connections and they meeting, you know, to the needs of the people when they get back home. I want, you, I, want you to, um, I want you to give information. I gotta move on. It's, uh, it's seven thirty nine. We ain't oh, got yeah, long yeah, left. Yeah. And where can they? Where where can these people go get them a Happy Man. Meal box from? And what's in it? Oh, I gotta put this in the camera because I don't got my flyer. We gotta give a shout out to the Bag Depot. You know you getting it from the Bag Depot, Cafe Six. Y'all gotta pull up. <laughs> Let me get the flyer. I seen the Bag Depot on Seven Mile. Right? Oh, yeah. That's where you at, right? Oh, yeah. Seven Mile and Evergreen between Westmoreland and Anchester. Hold on, put that in the camera. How you do that? I don't know how you do that. Hold on. Hold on. Let's yeah, see. there you go. It's the a Bag deep? Depot. Well, that ain't no man. Wait, wait, let me turn it upside down. I had it upside down. There we go. That ain't the Bag Depot. No, that's ha that's Happy Meal side. That's but the Bag Depot right here. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Yeah, put it in the camera. How you do it last time? I like that. I don't know how they did it. Yeah, but, but he, the way he got the camera set up. Oh, it's different. Bag anyway. Depot, seven mile. <laughs> Quit playing. Look, On the mile. 19634 West Seven Mile. You between Westmoreland and Anchester. We at the Bag Depot. Make sure you pull up. Uh man. Shout out to everybody who who really rocking with the movement and trying to make sure that, you know, not just that that, that we get to, we get to going where we need to go. Adult. Underscore Happy Meals. That's on Instagram, uh, and that's it, man. Let's let's go. Let's keep moving. I need to see some more people in the box. I want you to sit with me. Um, I don't have long to go. I gotta I gotta touch base on what's going on in the city and what's going on in the world. Uh, number one, number two, number number one and two. Jada Pinkett. Jada Pinkett has came out with a memoir. That it's out today. You can go on Amazon and you can buy it. I ain't getting paid to tell you where you can go get it. <laughs> right? She don't fuck with me. 
But I'm telling you that um, listen, man. This is this is another time where another black woman, man, is is uh is shit on a black man, bro. You know, and there's been a lot of a lot of talk about what she's doing and what she's saying about her, Will, Tupac, um, and, and her motives. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Jada showing her ass right now. You know, and, and and if she got to step on her husband and do it, she's doing it. Of course, she said that, that they haven't been together in some time, but she has taken this opportunity to, she got to sell her book. You know what I'm saying? And she she has even went as far as saying that um, she's talking about Will and homosexuality and, and August Alsina and Tupac and like, this black woman, she doesn't have any type of, uh, she doesn't have any type of le level of concern about what she says to destroy her black man. Whether they're together or not, Will gave his life to her. You know what I'm saying? Will done gave up all the best years of his life to her. And now she got a book out and she's using his name and Tupac and this and that to make her dude look bad you know what i'm saying so that's that's what's going on as far as uh entertainment goes we don't know where this is going every day is something new can i add some of that come on man because i ain't gonna lie ever since i seen that that will smith slap with Chris Rock, yeah, and when I watched the aftermath for nothing, and when I I kind of think like they said, I, I said maybe the slap was staged, maybe it was for views for the Grammys or, you know, whatever. It started to make me think that I'm I'm starting to believe deep down in my heart that um, the movies aren't cutting it anymore. People <laughs> people ain't going to the movies no more. Okay, they want they want real life action they want reality tv okay and I, it's starting to seem like these actors and actresses is turning into reality tv stars and it seems like they're still acting but it's it's like i'm gonna call it extended acting it seemed like they just acting beyond the camera you know what i'm saying so they could so they could present like I don't know. Everything still seems scripted to me. It don't. It don't. I. I. It's like. It's like. It's. It's there just for us to talk about it. I want y'all to keep up with that. You know, we don't know where <laughs> this is going. We are waiting on Will to give a response. Um, Will ain't gonna say nothing. The best thing that I can say is is keep that toxic shit to yourself. You know, black folks and black families don't need that type of shit from successful black people. Man, keep that shit to yourself. Uh, the Detroit Lions are showing their ass, man. They are five and one right now, and um, they had just beat the Buccaneers, twenty to six. We have never seen this from the Detroit Lions, man. And I got my eye on it, man. We got one loss, and we're moving into the the mid mid season right now. If we were to go into the playoffs tomorrow, we would be there. Yes. So we done went from zero and sixteen with Joy Harrington. Yes. To Five and one. Is we going to the Super Bowl this year? Hell, fuck yeah. Okay, that's all I wanted you to <laughs> I just wanted to hear that. Boss Your Life Up segment. Let me get, we get ready to get up out of here. P, uh, doing my Boss Your Life Up segment, we give the people something. Something to help them win. Something that they can know, whether it's a tip, I whether it's, it. uh, whether it's, it's keep grinding, whether it's... Whatever it is, we give our people something. I'm about to give my people something right Come now. Come on, man. Listen, when you go to sleep at night and you think about what it is that you want to do with your life, just remember that the first thing you got to do to make that dream a reality is wake up. Mm. Okay? Remember that you got to wake up to the dream world. Everything that's real is not here. This is, this is a part of your manifestation. This is a part of your original thought, and it was created into this reality for you to manipulate. Create your world, pray to the God, and make sure that you're doing what's right. And, and trust me, if I leave you with that, you will be good. Make sure that you know that this is the dream world. This is the world that was meant for us to be like God. And the real world is when we go to sleep and we all connected.
I'm gonna leave you with that. My boss of life up um, portion is um, be patient. Be patient. I had a very, very uh, uh, important inter not an interview, but a meeting with somebody who's out there. You know what I'm saying? Dog is doing his thing. He got an extensive history and. Um, everything that I've been doing moving forward, the only, only reason that I am in the space that I'm in is because I've been patient. We all want shit overnight. We all want shit to pop off right now. We have an idea and we want somebody to respond to our idea right now. But through patience and resilience and being cool and building, sure. things happen in due time. Stay at it. Build your shit up. It's coming. I want to thank P. I want to thank you. I want to thank Roger. I want to thank um. I want to thank um. Put you on podcast. I want to thank Forum Magazine. I want to thank uh, Lock Life Dread Hood, our sponsors for supporting us. I want you guys to stay blessed, and uh, we'll see you next week. It's up. What a show. I liked it. I like it. I like we got some good. I got. I like that. I like that. We building? Yeah, I like this. All right, my name. I like this. I'm about to definitely send some people your way too. And I like the fact that, see, because I thought about it when I was up, and I was, I was like, damn, I wanna, I want them to see that, like, shit. I ain't, even though I was gonna stop after this, after this stage right mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, no. Nah. We're going to take a picture, bro. And then you can hold yeah. your box up and shit like that. Yeah, we got to take we got to take a picture, bro. And I'm really... I, this shit right here... This shit about to blow up. You think so? Bro, chill. I'm telling you. You said chill? I'm telling you what Man, I know. I'm working on something, dog. I got it in here, dog. I'm telling you what I know. You see something? I see something. Yeah. I see something. Yeah. 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 Yeah.